Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Rimworld of Magic Royalty 1.1. We are planting some olive trees. They are gonna give us olives, please. And then we'll press them into olive juice. Except you don't call it that, because that makes you want to gag. Anyway, we got some mechanoids. Yes, we do. We got some mechanoids. How about you? We're trying to give him the mortar juice. And honestly, it does seem to be working. At least to some degree. Let's see if we can knock out this assembler. I mean, we almost got it down to half health. If we can get three direct hits, we might be able to bop it. Once we can bop it, we can twist it. But don't get it twisted. Just get the assembler twisted. And once we twist it, I don't know. Maybe you can turn it and then shove it. Let's see if we can do either of those. Let's go, Ray Ray! Oh! Oh! Yeah! Bam! It's done! And a weaponsmith from the Ragamuffins is approaching. It's our own weaponsmith! Look at this lad in the front! The Unith Tetherium. Hi, lads! Hi, cockroach. How you doing? You ugly entertainer, you? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Can I, get, can I get you guys to go up here, maybe, and fight these dudes? I mean, probably not. But hey, with them down, now we can concentrate on the actual, actual factual enemies. Presumably. Let's go trade with, uh, what's your name? China? Steve China Coates? Mm, the weaponsmith? I mean, he's, yeah, he is a weaponsmith. It literally calls him a weaponsmith. Good, good, good. Jolly well good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Let's resolve these bills. We got 1,500 monies coming our way. Not to mention, uh, some, you know, gun tides. Hello. Hey, Dawn, you didn't bring much with you. You, got, you brought a Wand of Lightning, which is pretty cool. I'll buy that. A repeater crossbow. First shot of four. Only five damage. I mean, long reloads and lax precision. Also not that strong. I mean, that doesn't really surprise me that much. You can get regular throwing knives, which I assume they're not as good as the skill of throwing knives. But that's good to know. Uh, we could sell a couple of Grizzlies. We're not really... Not really using them for anything. We don't have a female, so it's not like we could, you know, pump out more grizzlies. But yeah, I'll take a friggin' lightning rod. Hell yeah, I will. Uh, who's going to ride the lightning, though? That's the question of the day. Ability bonus, max energy, energy regen. I mean, Volpi is our other mage. I feel like you should be the one carrying this. But then who... Uh, and I, yeah, I guess Sai would inherit your your gun. So Sai, get down here. Yeah, Dimis, of course, has the snipes. I have many shoots. Now Sai will have many shoots. And then who inherits his gun? Does anyone have over 10 shoots that could inherit that gun? Vasilla, but I mean, Vasilla... Vasilla is also a snipes. Mm, yeah, not really. Go oh, Volpi, come over here. I want to test this. Uh, trade the weapon. There we go. And then I guess, uh... Oh, no! This is outside the allowed area! Oh, dear. Zenis, are you a brawler? You're not. So I tell you what, let's give you a gun. Yeah, don't worry about the heater shield. I'm gonna give you a gun. Because you can still throw noives, even though you have gun. Alright, Volps, uh, let's see what this does. Neat! It looks neat. I like it. Thanks for the silver. Someday we'll get to collect it. Um, our animals can collect it right away. If they're smart enough. And they should be because they are not limited at all. Uh, we have a quest expiring in 14 hours. 84 man-hunting British short-haired cats. No, if there's one time to have them come in, let's do it. 
Except with Fet the Yeoman. Oh, that's right. We also get eight mercenary gunners to help us out. Hello. How y'all doing? Welcome temporarily to the colony. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dark Shadow, let's move you over here just so we can separate the uh, temporaries from the not-so-temporaries. Yo! Is that a Technomancer? What do we got over here? Alright. Kaz Quasello. Transhumanist Warlock. Able to manifest physical and demonic forces using his unique access to arcane power. Neat. So he can soul bond. Demons, or those possessing the soul of a demon, can create a soul bond with another pawn to sustain or host the bond. Uh, soul bond contract may be canceled at any time. Soul bond creates a link that allows demon kin to travel to or summon the host. Dominate. Neat. Warlock and Succubi dominate their foes in different ways. Warlocks will attempt to break the mind, whereas a Succubus will reduce the physical prowess. Okay. Repulsion. Blast creatures away from the center. Shadow Bolt. So, I can cast Soul Bond on someone else. Hmm. Interesting. The emotions of the host are washed away in bliss. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and then we have you. Yeah, a Technomancer. Constans. Engineer weapon. What? Create a modified version of an existing weapon. This weapon is molded out of raw mana and physically anchored to the Technomancer as an extension of their body. The weapon will disintegrate if separated from the Technomancer. This weapon will be automatically equipped by the Technomancer once created. Weapon specialists also have access to modified ammunition, etc., etc. Okay. Target weapon on the ground. Must be ranged with an industrial or higher tech level. And use standard firing actions. Okay. And then you can just create a turret. So, yeah. Just create a turret, I guess. It Let's see. It miniari miniaturizes itself when it takes critical damage. It can cause neural feedback to the Technomancer manning the system. Rockets and mortars consume mana per shot. Build it over here. Boop. There it is. Boop. There it is. And it can shoot that far. Cool. That's really cool. And it does have a certain... Uh... Okay, it has a certain like length to it. Bulb is 28 years old today, by the way. Brawler has a ranged weapon. Melodius does not like range. Melodius prefers melee. Well, Melodius... Bad news. I'm not giving you a mono sword or a mono hammer. Okay. So remember, they're allowed to die freely. So I'm thinking what we do is we send them out here. And we have them fight these guys up here. Nano stimulant. Injection of nanites that temporarily enhances the combat capabilities of the user. Especially synthesized by a Technomancer for their for their own unique biological and genetic makeup. It's not addictive, but it's harmful for any other pawn. Neat. They will cause platelets to cauterize, stop bleeding, and even heal small wounds. Kinetic shield. Kind of speaks for itself. Sabotage overrides the target's mechanical fail safes. The effects of sabotage can range from reduced mechanical performance, temporary shutdown, self destruction, even catastrophic failure. Yeah, definitely want to apply that to mechanoids if possible. Costs 35 mana. Overdrive pushes the AI, cause damage to the system periodically. Okay. And Orbital Strike, which kind of speaks for itself. Okay, cool. Very cool. I mean, Orbital Strike costs 60. That costs 35. Do we still have a... A mana potion? No. So, I tell you what. Come over here. Get your mana back. The rest of us, let's go ahead and get ready to take on these mechanoids. Ray Ray, how are you feeling with the mortars? Not ready yet. Okay. This is fine. 
Honestly, come down this way. Melodis got hit. No big surprise. We're here to hit and get hit. And I know we have a bunch of small animals coming, but we should be able to hide behind the fence and get rid of most of them. It's really these mechanoids that are the biggest problem. All right. Look, if they're going to give us people who can die, we're going to we're going to let them die, you know? Yo, Constance, he's he's so slow. Why are you so slow? Why is your movement so low? Arcane weakness. Ugh. Looks like someone had a smoke weapon. Yo, get the uh, scyther. We need to get that scyther. The scyther's too close! There we go, we got the scyther. Okay, if you're up and you can move, let's move you a little bit. Okay. Yo, you gonna throw a shadow bolt, maybe? I don't, does this affect? It says a violent wave of darkness, so I would expect it to affect everyone. Yo, where's where's my shadow bolt? Who's throwing the shadow bolt? Is he downed? Is it someone downed? It is someone downed. Damn it. Patronus has died. Okay. I mean, look, some of them are gonna die. Some of you may die, but that is... That is a... Chance I'm willing to make. Or a risk I'm willing to take, or something like that. Okay, we have enough for an orbital strike, so we're gonna launch that. And we're gonna give him the ultimate oof. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know how good an orbital strike is, but we're gonna find out the hard way. Animal Herder from the Barrow Nation. For an animal herder, you do not have a lot of animals. Just saying. Alright, Melodius. Melodius can walk again. Never mind. <laughs> uh, whoops. I mean, I say whoops, but I mean... You know. I bet you... The Imperial person who asked for this to happen is having a grand old time. That is the range of the orbital strike? Holy crap. Like, I guess I don't know what I expected, but I expected more? Dude, your arcane weakness is, like, so bad. You can apparently learn techno bit. Small autonomous orb that helps with many tasks. That's neat. Oh, cool. It can propel small time-delayed explosives at the target. Dude, Technomancers seem awesome. Okay. We are close enough to drop an orbital strike. Let's do it. Okay. And... Uh, okay. Th there it goes. It was really slow. The buildings have been defeated. Does that mean they're attacking? I don't know. Um, relations with the LMS military have changed from 22 to 61. Oh, because we did the, uh, we destroyed the building, so they liked that. That's why. Yeah, yeah, they liked it. They are like, dang, that's neat. Thanks. And we were like, cool. You're welcome. Sabotage. How much does that cost? 35? Uh, throw it down. There it goes. This one resisted it, so it did nothing. And this one may have been out of range, so it did nothing. All right. Beautiful. Good job, dude. You done it. All right. Now everyone's attacking, so we actually need our forces out. Yeah, the enemies are actually coming for us now. Like a legit strike. Since we destroyed all the buildings except this one. Alright, Constance. 
Hold up with the major defense. Where is Ray Ray? Ray Ray's right here, here. Okay, come over here. Let's set up the mortar. Thelonious is dead. Alright, I'm hoping right from here... That's right. Use that carrot plant. Ray Ray's got more skills. Let's go ahead and upgrade mortar expert again, I think. Uh, what will that do? Increase accuracy? Yes. Okay. Aim after the centipede. Actually, no. Aim after this group. If we could take all, out all of them but the centipede, we'd be in a good spot. Well, there goes Constance. Good. Great. Okay. That did nothing. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that did practically nothing. Okay. Wonderful. A beautiful start. Hmm. When it comes to spells, we're in a little bit of a rough position. And I don't think this area is going to help us out. I actually think we might want him to come closer to the colony itself. Uh, what are you doing? St don't haul anything. Uh... Go into the home area, please. Same thing with... Yeah, yeah it's time to haul all the animals into home area. Alright, back off. Pesco, what are you doing? Why are you jumping on the... <sighs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Alright. Alright. Creo going on a food binge. Pick the best time for it, Creo. The best time! Okay. That's right, keep drawing them closer. Draw them a little bit closer. Just draw them a little bit closer. Okay. Let's actually come over here. This feels safer. Uh, anything closer to in the home area that I could put you? What is area one? No. Uh, let's see. We will make area one. Area one will be the barn. And a little bit of what's outside of it. Okay, so put your injured ass in area one. That's not moving your injured ass to area one. That is fleeing, which is going to do nothing. Okay. Dismas, come over here. You might be able to start. Oh yeah. His range is where he can shoot. There we go. You can at least hit the damn thing now. Okay, well, they got cockroaches' attention. Alright, we got some shooting going on. Sai, come over here. I think that range is good enough. Ray Ray, I want you to do nothing. We lost Nikita. Nah, there's not a better place for you, Dismas. Oh, uh, let's see. Masilla, I want you to be in a position where you can shoot. Alright. I'd love to be in a position where I can shoot, too. If such a position exists. Goes a koala. Let's just go ahead and tell the rest of the animals to stay in Area 1. Might as well keep them safer. Okay. Okay. My problem are those snipers. Now there, another one's down. Melodus has died. Okay, they are attacking the enemies now, which is what we want. What's the protection of this olive tree? 
Uh, cover effect, 25. God dang, man. The trees are garbage. Ooh, get a little, little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. There it is. That's perfect. Volpe, you're down here, right? Volpe, get right here. Get ready to start healing. We're going to need it. Yeah, we're going to need it a lot. Uh, don't attack. Literally do heals first. Heal over attack. All right. The effect is dead. If we get rid of this thing, we'll be in a good spot. He's the majority of the problem. Okay. Heal again. All right, the centipede's down. Oh, and that one's down too. Nice. All right. Damage looks to be minor, to be honest. Except for the uh, dead animals, of course. Uh, now all the animals can stay in the grow zone. Oh, you! I forgot about you. That's all right. So I got you. So I got you dead. All right, now for all the uh, <laughs> the dying dudes. Um, we're gonna switch cremate corpse temporarily to be all human-like. So that we can bury the colonist who died. Sai needs to eat. Oh no, we lost a griffin. That sucks. But that does mean we get some magical leather. So you gotta look at the bright side. All the others look like they're gonna live, uh, except for maybe the Kasune is in a, some trouble. Two hours on the Kasune? Uh, Volpe, where are you? Over here? Drink some water and then blink over here. Why you gotta mount before you blink? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. No, door. You need the Door, please. Our caravan's leaving, by the way. Our caravan that we don't... Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no we don't use freaking herbal glitter world medicine on Pascal. Or Pascal. God dang, Shark Walker. No, drop the Kitsune. Door! Fall down. <laughs> no, fall down. Heal. Kitsune. There. You just healed door, didn't you? No, I don't think you did. I think you healed the right one. Three hours. Yeah, it went up. Yeah, we're gonna heal it. We're gonna do as much healing as we can this way. It's a good thing we can tell the animals to get down. All right. Uh, pfft. dang it. I mean, we bought you some more hours, so forget it. I checked my phone for like half a second. All right. Basilla's in no immediate danger. Dismas is in no me immediate danger. Nobody else seems to be in immediate danger, which is fine. Oh, Kasune was put in here. Hadoi. There you go. Still three hours. But it looks like Shark Walker's on it right now. Pascal is starving. Understandable. Okay. And then one more heal. And then we're good. Alright. Yeah, down to a very minor damage. Okay, good. We did it. And we still have a full screen worth of animals. So you know what? I don't think we did that bad. We even still have a uh, Lady Koala. Queenie. So, honestly, I don't think we did that bad at all. And as long as no one from within the colony is in immediate danger, I don't know how much I can... Oh, you, you, your death. 
may have been preventable. <laughs> I don't know if it is now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Size in a shooting frenzy. That's good. J oh no, that's terrible. Who's hunting at this time? Dismiss, what the actual frick are you doing, man? Dismiss, what the hell? You didn't even get your arm patched up. Ah. These people, they don't think. It's like they're pawns. Non-autonomous pawns in a video game or something. What the hell? Alright. As long as we can get in here, we should be fine. I don't know if we will. Because <laughs> we're cutting it pretty damn close. But if we can, we'll be fine. Come on, Dismas. He's made it. Yeah, we should be just fine then. Woo! Um, Sharkwalker, how about we firebolt? Ooh! Zenus, arm up! Ah, uh, Vasilla, nope! Sorry, homeboy. It's alright, you got a strong shell. Uh oh! This Gigantopithecus is attacking homeboy! Zap him! We will not be losing homeboy today. Luani joins. Ooh! Another Liani! Nice! Alright, good job, team. Kind of. Uh, go ahead and finish them off. Throw down the hunting order. Say hello to Luani. Hello, Luani. Nice, uh, machine pistol you got there. Although you pr greatly prefer melee. Careful shooter. Okay, that's good. Transhumanist. Asexual. Slowpoke. Pacifist. Well, so much for trans... You know, so much for careful shooter. Fisherman. Jealous. These are honestly some pretty terrible traits. Yeah, a lot of these traits suck. Not gonna lie. <laughs> But the skills are okay. You're 21? What's your lifespan again? Oh yeah, 60. So you're yeah, you're you're about middle age. Okay. Well, welcome to the colony. A genuine welcome for you, as opposed to a I guess non-genuine welcome for the these guys. <laughs> the dead crew. Who we thankfully don't care if they're dead. It looks like. Yeah. Looks like that doesn't do too much. Alright, well, I guess we have plenty of, uh... Plenty of vape meat now. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this episode of That Plays a Rim World of Magic Royalty. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. Yeah, I would already feel free to subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks again for watching Rim World of Magic Royalty. My name is Thet, and next time we'll probably be taking on a bunch of, what? British short hair cats! Till then, I'll see you in the next video, my dudes.